Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Plan B Terraform. Last time we got our city pop, like total city population up over 10,000. Now we're still kind of running into some supply issues, but interestingly we've got more, even more buildings to try and build here. Namely, we got the greenhouse, which is made out of steel bar and polymer bar, which you know, we get polymer bar from all of our oxygen production. So like over here, we we could try to set up a secondary so Nagu is just a mess. <laughs> if we're if we're gonna be honest. But what we could try to do is I'm, I, we still are trying to utilize the waste material from Nagoya as fast as possible. The concrete is is struggling partly because our primary concrete field has completely uh, come and gone. We're going to quickly run out of concrete entirely from this sulfur field, which is why we started like utilizing this guy in the first place. So hopefully this guy can kind of catch up and re uh, take over some of the the operations from these two truck lanes here and then we can get rid of this road altogether and uh, there's not really any purpose for it because there isn't anything else to build a road to out this way so we'll probably delete that but if we want to get our hands on greenhouses which I think are for making food for your cities overall I uh, I would like to start putting that together so first of all we need to have some carbon output for our oxygen over here then we will take a factory and we'll just we'll want to get outside of the city here because it's quickly being engulfed by the majority of the city so we'll start to make polymer bar there and then on top of that we'll get more waste disposal going and then absorb the metal waste Dump that into our oh, our recycling centers aren't being made anymore. Where were we making recycling center? Oh, you know what? I bet it was here. Ta-da! Hence the big pile of concrete that is not being replenished. Maybe it is being replenished? Nope, that's aluminum bar. Alright, we need to start bringing concrete over to this side of the city again. <laughs> Man, concrete is like probably one of the most important materials to get, like, because you, you, all of your cities consume reinforced concrete, but it's definitely the one that is least sustainable because you can't get any concrete from re recycling or anything like that. It's just kind of messy. But we'll just start chewing up the sulfur field out here and then dumping it into... Oh, not reinforced concrete. Just normal concrete. Dumping it into these two factories. Which then dump it into these two. You know what? I should probably put them over here. So they're not in the way of the sulfur field as we continue to harvest. So the whole... What we're working on while I'm trying to balance out the, the livelihood of our cities here is... Um, we're working on warming the planet some more. Oops. That looks really weird. There we go. Um, this is not actually a good place for this circle. How did I screw this up that bad? Ah. There. Um, we, we're just going to continue to let our two gas fields this guy is chunking along uh the fluorite is actually pretty consumed which has slowed down the production a bit but if we just shift this guy a little bit and then add a second one yeah both of those will service that guy so now we'll just add more excavators and this this field will not this or this production field of of greenhouse gases will not last forever but it's lasting for now <laughs> back to what we were doing so we're making a a secondary co concrete yard for nagoya here to get 
concrete up here. And honestly, we could just dis uh, connect it to connect it to the same steel rail that we have otherwise. And then we'll have drop off there and then drop off here. Concrete. Perfect. Let's watch it get loaded up here. Look at the drones go. Doing great work. Go ahead and speed it up. Watch it get over to the city. And then you add on your second train once it hits the other side of the depot. There it is. Good time to add on the second train. Great. How many of you are you making? Well, you've not you've made nine now, so let's let's take you off of that uh, and put you back on on train making. Here we go, train making. Now, see, so we've already loaded ourselves up in the, in the short amount of time it took to to divert from. Oh, you can make compost from organic waste and nitrogen. Huh? Where does that come from? Well, that comes from waste disposal too. You need nitrogen for that. I gotta get that from the ice fields up north. All right, make as much metal as you can. And then, what the hell are we gonna do with all the aluminum? <laughs> that's that's the other aspect of it, is like, when you've figured out the balance of the stainless steel, the aluminum takes everything else. Uh, it's just a constant struggle between steel and aluminum as far as recycling goes. The waste is, Satisfactory, at least. So that's something. Aluminum goes into... Into the greenhouse? No, that's steel bar. Oh, that's why we set this whole thing up. So I guess we want to set up... Some depots. This one's for polymer bar. This one... Can we... Yes, okay, I was gonna say. I would love to be able to offload all of the steel bar... Onto that platform there. And then the aluminum bar is a little trickier. Because you can't actually cover the whole thing. But then we'll just do assembly plant that does greenhouse greenhouses. And just, like, infinitely make greenhouses. Just to use up the steel bar and whatnot. Now the aluminum bar is the other part. What do we do with that? You know, I kind of like the idea of infinitely making double uh, uh, depot MK2s, and we can utilize these factories here to just make polymer bars, and then we'll have a second assembler that sucks up Is it not... Oh, there it is. That sucks up the aluminum and the polymer to make these depots. Uh, we do need to offload the aluminum, though. So there we go. Very nice. So now this should really help Daka or uh, Nagoya a lot. How is Daka doing? Satisfactory waste disposal? Still short of... <laughs> it's always reinforced concrete, man. Without fail. Same thing with the, their aluminum is is relentless. Like the, these guys are dumping their aluminum and, po and polymer into uh, MK2 production as well. I was wondering where we were getting MK2s from. We set that up a long time ago. Um. Yeah, it's it's just a struggle because there's. There's not enough steel and like I, I wish there was more um sustainable stuff or sustaining stuff for your city that aluminum could be used for because right now we're just it's all steel um i guess we should probably just increase the factory production here of reinforced concrete just to fill this guy even further What I should probably do here is... I wonder if I should get rid of this one.
because right now I think we're trucking this over to the other side of the city for like really no reason. I could change this to be here. But if we we put a delivery spot like somewhere touching this city. I guess this is yeah. I don't know. <laughs> It's just a, a crazy, crazy stuff as far as balancing goes, or lack thereof. What are you? Steel bar, steel bar, concrete. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we're at... How did we end up in Nagoya again? Excuse me. <laughs> I've been talking about Nagoya this whole time. And I was like, Daka's doing fine. Um, Still... still Reinforced concrete is, is DACA's problem, as it always has been, I think. Got plenty of high-tech high part. It's just the lack thereof of concrete. Steel's not a problem. In fact, if we could get concrete over here, like, what's the holdup? Maybe we just need more extractors. Just go crazy with them. And then double the... Double the drones. And just produce crazy amounts of sulfur. It's re Yeah, it really is just like we don't have enough... Uh, reinforced concrete to go into the city. Which is silly, because we should should be able to chew through this sulfur field like no problem. And like secondarily, we could always just steal sulfur from here, bring it over, combine it with this massive pile of steel, and throw that back into the city too. All right, let's check on our greenhouse gas production. So we've we boosted our SF6 pressure quite a bit. Our average temperature has risen by 26.5%. We're almost to 30. Um, so we're doing pretty good there. NF3 pressure has kind of started to plateau as well. But I was thinking, since we have a lot of... Um... We have a lot of ice drills. But the, I guess the, the thing that you need is fluorite. There's not a lot of fluorite near the ice fields. And, secondarily, near your cities. I think what we're going to end up with is... So, uh, water fields that are for boosting our city's populations and um, water fields that are solely for making greenhouse gas like over here. I just want to be on top of like if these guys suddenly need a secondary or a like a third you know material. Why are you guys not producing high tech parts? <laughs> now now I've just I'm gonna change all of my depots to level two depots and then they're gonna share resources just like across the entirety of the city there we go that's exactly what I wanted to see no more limitations for us in fact I want to I might want to stop you guys from from making infinite depots Maybe I turn you onto extractors. Like something you can't make. Just for now. Right, we're at like... Well, we were at nine depots. But I don't want to suck up all of the polymer right away. Especially because I, I would like to be making high-tech parts out of the aluminum there. Okay. So secondary greenhouse gas field in the ice fields. I don't see any floor. Whoa. Ah. Okay. So we'll do a combo field just like we did that one time. Is this ice? Does this count as real ice? How do I tell? <laughs> it says ice. Water, zero meters. Okay. So maybe you count. I should look at the other ice fields and make sure we didn't chew through all the ice. No. All the ice is fine. In fact, we have so much... Like, it's, it's always the nitrogen that is the the limiting factor there. So let's go back to that other... Here we go. 
right here. Let's put down our drills. Just like right at the edge. So if we do like this, and then we go nitrogen. And then on the back side is where we would put our water collector, but let's do one, two, three, four, five. And then we can add two more to that. And then we'll we'll just collect the water for future use. Or, or you know, collect as much water as we can. Like right there is fine. Excuse me, mechanical part and high-tech part. It was probably Nagoya's job to do that at some point. Like, ah, this guy. Make me some more... More greenhouse gas generators, please. There we go. What is that limited at? 10? Yeah, that's fine. What's Nagoya's population at? 4.6. Guangzhou is at 10,000. Good job, Guangzhou. We're at the we're at limited waste disposal again and we're at si limited city supply again. Oh, they want food. We've hit the Oh man, we've hit the fourth resource. And of course Guangzhou is as far from water as any of our cities could possibly be. Is this an ice field? It is where water would collect, though. Maybe? Or maybe that's a mountain? <laughs> How does elevation work? Yeah, it looks like Guangzhou is exactly halfway between the two poles, and Dhaka's not much better. So I'm kind of thinking we would build an ice field gatherer down here, and then just ship the water to Guangzhou. Because you need compost which comes out of our yep it comes out of our our recycling bins does that mean you don't produce metal waste anymore oh my god <laughs> this game is so hard to balance literally everything oh no they still well yeah i think they must still be producing metal waste they definitely are okay thank god because I was like, geez, if we can't produce metal waste because we made too much poo, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> All right, let's 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 focus on getting the, the greenhouse gas above the next level uh, first. I keep getting distracted by, by new things in the game. So right here. Oh, I forgot. Oh, we found the guy. Remember I built that one like a long time ago just to like, it was like a proof of concept or something like that. And then I totally forgot where it was. Well, I found it again. All right, so greenhouse g gas generators. We're gonna build you guys around. We might actually, can we get away with putting you here and stealing the nitrogen from that one? And then this one's for fluorite. Here we go. All right, just extract the whole dang field. <laughs> this is kind of stupid, but how about, uh, what if we take this guy away? Can we cover? Yep, we cover that side of the field. We take this middle guy away. We cover this half of the field and then surround the entire thing with extractors. And now we go crazy. Um, so greenhouse gas production here. Let's go NF3. Oh, that's not how you want to do that. Put them, put them here. There. Now they're covered by both of them. Now, the thing is, we need to get fluorite to... over to this guy. I think we just do this with an old-fashioned road. Dustly and just around. Although we don't have any trucks. How did that happen? <laughs> trucks are long gone. This is a this is the era of rail. That, that's horrible. How did I how did I screw that up? There we go. 
Much better. And now we need to make a circle over here. I did it again. Added an unnecessary extension to the rail. There we go. A funny just... <laughs> so it goes over here. The rail goes over here. And then it just kind of loops around. And then we make a second rail that does the same thing. And it doesn't go very much further either. And so these, these two rails are like infinitely slow. But they will always be delivering fluorite to our greenhouse gas producers. That's pretty good. How are you doing? You're back to being maxed out on fluorite now. And you've run out of... It's just like, once we figure out one of the resources, we run out of the other one. Good good news is, we've like gone insane with our... Our, uh... Extractor production, so you, we can just throw extractors literally everywhere. I also think I should just move you in... Uh, origin. Move you in deeper. And then we'll, uh... Move the depots out here and there and then we can throw extractors back here even that one's actually out of range but we'll just go crazy with it no balancing in this planet we just we mine every resource possible <laughs> and then immediately throw it in the furnace all right we're at 27 and a half we've gained a degree so far in the episode I think we could go ahead and speed up some time. Nagoya, how are you doing? You're growing at a prodigious rate. That's great. Daka, still doing okay, but now the waste disposal is not sufficient anymore. And it's over here that it is uh, lacking. And part of that, I think, is related to lack of concrete, which I could start kind of mitigating from over here. Why did I do that? Yeah, so we would like to have a factory that is making reinforced concrete from this steel and then from concrete that we are delivering from elsewhere. We will need to make a roundabout. But we can build another... We're just making concrete factories, like, all over this planet. There's no stopping us. Uh, whoops. That should be for sulfur. Sulfur. More sulfur. And then factories that turn that sulfur into concrete. And then extractors that go insane and mine all of the resources in the near vicinity. <laughs> and now we extend the rail... One, two, three. And ex just extend it over to this line. Doesn't have to be pretty. And then we uh, origin. Oh, I guess you guys have to offload your, your concrete, don't you? Uh, just in the middle is fine. And then one next door. And then we'll throw the train stop right in the middle. Bring it back over here. And, oh, that's right. The train stop has to be on the not combined track so i guess we'll put it there and then we'll do a double uh a double system where we'll offload our concrete here but then ship it over that way honestly it would be better actually i should just do it the right way the first time like that move this destination over here and then we can offload to the right side of the city uh, concrete and then we'll just delete this dude and these tracks because we don't need them much better I don't I got I got so like shoehorned into delivering the concrete where I had built the track originally that I was like I can never change I can never deviate that's not true we can deviate as much as we want in fact this game almost encourages it because things are like so easy to delete and just like build elsewhere because you get them back immediately it's kind of neat that way all right so we need to figure out a way to process this organic waste the organic waste is processed in is it a factory 
Like, let's just take a look. Yeah, so you just need carbon. Oh. oh! Oh, I see. So you get carbon. Oh, there's two ways of making compost. That's fascinating. So a, a recycling center needs nitrogen and organic waste to make compost. It, may, it takes a lot of organic waste per nitrogen to make compost. You also could do carbon with nitrogen to make compost in a factory. That's really interesting. But we already have a bunch of recycling centers set up over here. In fact, we should probably just change this guy to I'm kind of thinking we should delete this dude and then change this guy to organic waste. Uh, here. Because this guy is serving all of those recycling centers anyway, or at least these four. And then this one's kind of super superfluous, so we can kind of just, oops, I did not mean to delete that factory. I wanted to move that factory. I guess this factory is kind of superfluous because <laughs> this factory is uh, fully loaded anyway and the carbon is all the way backed up so there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Over here is where all the aluminum bar is. <laughs> it's interesting. Hey! I was going to say, it's interesting that we're... Uh, like, we can't figure out the balance between aluminum on one side of the city versus carbon on the other side of the city. Second, so we've reached our temperature goal, which unlocked tempered steel, the dam element, and the dam pump, which pumps visible water from one side to the other. We've also achieved the pumping station, which can pump water from ground, which must be built over humid ground, not submerged in water, green areas in the water view. Does that mean there's water on the planet yet? Dang it, Nagoya is now green, or now red. Uh, we've hit a hundred, uh, a thousand population immediately. So now we need to reach a total population of 30, which will allow us to, or we did unlock pine tree and eucalyptus tree, which we can assemble via carbon and water. So let's slow down time here. Let's go back to Nagoya. What are you, how are you green, red now? You're, de you're negative on everything. How did this happen? You're negative on... On... Go back to train making. Go back to truck making. <laughs> you're, you, you ran out of high tech part? How did that happen? I guess the we're, we are short on polymer. The only thing that's, that says to me is that I could just make more uh, oxygen extractors. So, And we have some space in here to do so. So let's, uh, or atmosphere extractors, I should say. Um, so let's go, well, let's upgrade you to a, a tier two depot. I don't know how we got away with that for so long. And then uh, swap over to atmospheric extractor. Get this house out of here. You're in the middle of the the depot industry. Oh, I'm dumb. That's exactly where we were delivering resources. Come back. Bring your house back, sir. Can I move this house over here? Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess what we could do is just move this here and then swap that over there. Although that does break a lot of our delivery stuff. Oh, no. Well... Hmm. Actually, this isn't the worst. We'll just move it like this and then move you over there. Now it's fine. <laughs> it's it's even more spaghetti than it was before, but uh, we'll make it work. So Nagaya is short on oxygen. Well, they shouldn't be short on oxygen for very long, um, but they're short on high-tech parts and short on concrete. How are things going over here? You're still backloaded on... Uh, aluminum bars oh I thought I changed you to infinite mm. 
well. Uh, that we, we have an easy way to expand our oxygen production over here uh, and our carbon processing at, at the same time. So let's go ahead. Uh, sorry, folks, in the nearby neighborhood. Dang it. I should have paused. That guy... Yeah, that guy is covered. And we will have to delete this dude in order to get another carbon depot in there. There. Good. So hopefully that'll help Nagi out a bit. At least for now. We still need to figure out their... their concrete reinforcing but that's fine how is the water coming along there is none at what point does water start showing up on the planet because <laughs> we've unlocked what oh dude this is gonna be such a big river is this like a fault line at what point do the ice caps melt i guess if the ice caps melt i probably don't need any more ice drills huh I guess we will see, because for now, we're, uh, whew, interesting. Um, we're still trying to sort out our, our other production stuff. So pumping station will come into play once there's actual water on the planet, which I'm not sure there actually is based on the map. But we do need to start sorting out the, the food situation, uh, and that will depend on composting. Oh, interesting. So we'll actually have to have some recycling centers dedicated to compost and other ones dedicated to metal recycling that is that is that makes a lot of sense it's just very interesting so if we switch you over to compost right now then we need to get you some nitrogen they can suck in all the organic waste which is great but yeah now we have to figure out how to get you some nitrogen which we could probably do by throwing down, I'm doing all of this before I forget next episode. So nitrogen here, and now the big thing is pulling in a train that can deliver nitrogen from the poles down here. So let's pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more episodes of Plan B Terraform or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel next time and you will be excited to see <laughs> how I figure out how to compost and then make food from that compost. So tune in for that. Uh, but until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.